Hi guys, I'm Juno and I'll be on Discover Music and I shortly playing and discussing my music. Discover Music and I Welcome along to another episode of Discover Music NI, music podcast from Northern Ireland. Uh, I'm Kendo, and with me, as always, is Corky. Yes, Corky, what's happening? Hello, Kendo. How are you? I'm good. Nice waving. Thanks. I'm good. I'm good. Are you ready for some more excellent music this evening? Yes, very much looking forward to it. There's some great music lined up. Yeah, so tonight we're going to be hearing from Problem Patterns, Delusional Silence, uh, special guest, you know, Hassan, but we're going to kick it off with Big Daisy and Shimmer. Everything's boring when I'm alone. Can't get distracted. I'm watching moments pass through time. Get resurrected. And in my mind, where no thought sleeps, no one can dream there. I'm safe in the knowledge that I'll always sink because I'm overthinking. Three o'clock and then be on our way Cause we 
don't mind staying up late if it's warm during the day. There was nights he was working. And I went out myself To walk along the sunset And I think about the wealth That must lay between the road and shore Because I've learned not to care That half the town is nothing And the rest are millionaires Throw it in the bin, there's no recycling We don't care about the earth And we'll be dead and buried Before there's visible results Of our carelessness our disregard, but we'll take you out for lunch. No chat of politics or urban myths. The growth in your neck. You look very handsome in this shot. <laughs> Are you rolling that? <laughs> yeah. Good. It looks amazing. <laughs> um, greenery. Oh. How do I say that? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> this is all going to be not used, right? Sure. So yeah, I had two great songs we had there. Um, first up, we had "Shimmer" by Big Daisy, great song, and then we had Joel Harkin um, coming straight after that. And that song is "No Recycling." Two very good artists, again. So they are. So uh, we're going to bring out our special guest now, um, an aspiring new uh, singer songwriter from Straban, uh, Juno Hassan. Welcome. So Juno, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you for having me. How are you? Not too bad. We're going to play some tracks of yours. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all. Um, my name's Juno. I'm 18, a very old, old lady. I'm from Straban, but I'm, I live in the nice part of Straban. I live far away from the crime, so that's kind of nice. That's um, good. Are you studying at the minute, or are you working? Or I am in the Northwest Regional College in Derry on my second year of my... Um, L3 course so getting prepared to go to uni and just basically it's like the equivalent to A-level so I'm basically in the second year of that. Very good. All right is, are you, is it music are you studying music or is it different subjects yeah. just like A-level subjects? I'd, lo I'd love to turn around you and say that I'm studying something really smart like ICT or like something mathematical but no one I'm doing music performance. Oh well it's that's, that's something relative then. Yes yeah, exactly. It's, it's like music's the best thing you could study because You'll never yeah. finish it. You know, there, there is no end point of the exactly. music. Exactly. You'll always yeah. learn new things. So, Kendall, I'm just going to blaze over the fact that she says she's very old there and she's only 18. We'll just <laughs> stay silent. I feel old. That. I feel old. I have the bones of a 90 year old man. No. <laughs> um, so, what we'll do then, um, we're going to play one of your songs. Um, I have two songs here. Any one you prefer us to play first? This is a demo of my song, Best Friend, which hopefully will come out in the next month or two, and I hope you like it. So. You said that you'd come We both know you have no intention of calling me back Said thanks for the advice that I gave But you know how easy I just can't 
cave Emotions always misbehave And I hate that you're right all the time About everything that's on my mind Oh I wish that you loved me as much as you Fantastic. And and for it being a demo recording, it sounds like that the quality of the recording is also it, very good as well. It's just yeah. an it's just an iPhone like a microphone, so that's I was, I was going to ask how you, you know had you plugged in the computer and all that kind of stuff, we mix or anything, but nope, four o'clock in the morning on my bed. Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> mental, mental hours. It's like, hmm, what can I do rather than go to sleep? So I did that. Mm. It's like I'll do that. Is that um that's in the key of E, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And that we is it a, a C sharp minor chord? Yes, yes. Yes. It's like that chord. I love that chord. I think that's a great yeah. chord. Same. Is. And, and a My lot tiny of songs. hands. Theories. So hard to play. I remember trying to trying to play bar chords for the first year of playing. I was like, I can't do it. I'm just gonna figure out how to not do it. But you get used to it, it's just tiny hands. So you were saying um, 
you're, so you're studying uh, some music at the tech and stuff at the moment. Um, are you yeah. going to go on and do music, you hope, or what, what's your plans? I'm going to apply for a couple of different things and see what the crack is and how I feel just with the whole COVID situation and stuff to see how I feel closer to the time. But ideally, yeah. I would like to go over to somewhere like Brighton to study music over there. That would be really nice to do in September. Yeah. Is that yeah, the... Brighton seems to be one of the places to be for sort of music opportunities, you know. Yeah, it's is, really is that good. The, the Institute of Modern Music you're looking at? Them, yeah. Aye. That's, uh, I've heard of that place. It's got a great reputation. Great. A, a lot of very successful bands have come out of mm-hmm. it as well. And there was so, about 15 years ago I applied for that and then never went to an interview. And I've always regretted it. <laughs> but, but yeah. How many years ago? Must be 15. More than 15. Oh, it's more than 15. You liar. I'd say... Uh, well, probably mm. 18. It's not 20. Not when I was 18. Just give me a joy. Mm. Well, well, plans during lockdown and so on, are you, you trying to write some music and, and record some things? Or are you sort of just taking it as it comes? Do you know what? Over lockdown, I feel like... <clears throat> At the start of lockdown, I was just so glad to get over because I was so busy from about September 2019 to March 2020. I was the busiest I'd ever been, just constantly always doing stuff. So then when it got to lockdown, I had the mentality. I was like, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to get fat and nobody's going to be able to see me. I'm going to watch shows and nobody's going to care and it's fine. And then I think over time, I started to miss it more and more. And I, I, I kind of got writer's block, which is the worst thing ever. And that song best friend was one of the first ones and i don't i never i didn't sit down and write that song that's just what came out of me like yeah. and it was one of those like light bulb moments and that then best friend i, I can't even it must be a month or two ago that like that recording was just done but then that kind of sparked it was like a domino effect lots and lots of stuff came from that but i hadn't yeah. written stuff i found the motivation really hard lockdown but then i got best friend and it's all kind of been a bit but better since yeah. then. Good, good. That's, that's positive. Is, is, is there a wee bit of a, a personal touch to that song? Is there? No, there's there's absolutely definitely a personal touch to it. Like I think, but you can definitely like tell that it's personal. Yet yeah, it, it is. <sighs> so what about uh, sort of music influences? What sort of music do you enjoy listening to or going to see when you get the chance to? Obviously not at the moment, but what's um, your kind of go to? I was meant to see Harry Styles in April 19th, same day as my sister's birthday, and we had that cut. overlock. Cardi, just cut, just cut, just cut. I'm joking, yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. Keep, keep out. <laughs> how dare I? One, one thing I will not stand for is Harry Styles. Smander, how dare you? One thing I will not stand for. Uh, but um, now once I started listening to music more in-depth, like lyrically and stuff, definitely Stevie Nicks. Fleetwood Mac, Johnny, Johnny Mitchell's probably the And you were going to say Johnny Mitchell? I have. Yep. And then she redeems did, herself. Every, everybody says that. Everybody's like, I know you're going to say Johnny Mitchell. And I'm like, I'm not angry about it. I just don't know yeah. what you know. I, I could tell from that song and from the other song we're going to play shortly. I, I just had that feeling that Johnny Mitchell was going to be up there. She's high in that's, the a, that's a high kind of compliment. So I'll, I'll take that. That's good. Have you um have, have you played prior to lockdown? Obviously, had you been playing any uh, gigs of any of any sort locally, or it's uh, yeah the tech and stuff like that, or the tech has this mappa music and performing arts, and every month in Bennigan's and Derry, um, they would put on the mappa showcase, which was just bands oh. or acts from Northwest Regional College go up would go up and play so I would play in I've played in the tech band in there before I've done some open mic nights in Bennigan's and I played along with Adam Hannigan there I've played in Foyles I've played in Foyles with Adam Hannigan too and I did a little concert in McGee so that was nice so I wasn't aware yeah. that they did that in, in Bennigan's is that yeah. is that an evening one that they do that's really yeah, good it, it was the first Thursday of every month and it was from like it would start at I would say it would start at eight o'clock, but I wouldn't get thirty about nine o'clock. But it would start at a certain time, and then just whatever. And it was so great. Like it's, I maybe I'm being biased, but genuinely the talent in the tech is crazy, and it's just so good to support all these different artists and stuff. And I did. There was a Halloween concert as well. I performed with Happy Out with them as well. There's, there's just yeah, tons and them. tons of 
Happy Hour are great. Happy Hour are great. Um, there's just tons of like great talent, and it was it's such a shame because the whole it was such a supportive atmosphere in Bennigan's as well. Everybody was there to see the local talent, and everybody was there mm-hmm. to cheer on the local talent. And now it's all kind of it's a wee bit. The hype is still there, but it's just everybody misses it. But it'll all come up. It'll all come around against it. Well, this, yeah, this is kind of this is why we've we've come up with this idea. Um, <laughs> And obviously we, we want to spread it further than the Northwest. So this is kind of what we're trying to build a bit of a platform for you guys to, mm. to get it out there too, you know, so that's kind of cool. Um, and this is like Bennigan's there um, and Derry, like that's, it's a bar that I've been to a few times myself. I've been down the, on Tuesday nights, they used to do a Bennigan's under Jason. And I've been down a few times yeah. to just watch a few of the bands. But that's like some of the bands were playing in there were, really good so they were and they were playing maybe mm. three or four bands a night you know you arrive about probably summer time probably about nine o'clock or so it would start yeah it's right on day half to one o'clock and it's, it's because bennigan's is a small bar well you're going to enjoy the music by the end of the night just because uh, of the atmosphere in the place the, atmos- the atmosphere yeah, yeah. it's just it's, it's amazing it's so good yeah well see this, this is the, this is kind of the thing that that's got us going on this is we used to go out when we were your, so it makes us sound old, when we were your age, you used to go out in Derry and you go to Waterloo Street in Derry and you would have a choice of four or five bars in that street and there'd be live bands on in every single one of them mm-hmm. on, you know, on, on most, most nights of the week, you know, yeah. and that was kind of the thing was, you, you know, even you're obviously not necessarily going out drinking four or five nights a week, but you were going to watch bands. Yeah. And that, that, was, and that, was, that was the thing. So uh, we're going to play another song of yours now. Um, do you want to introduce it for us, sir? Yeah, um, this is Anybody But Me. Um, it's on Spotify. If you want to have a listen and support me, make me very happy. So hope you enjoy it.
Do you know that's incredible? <laughs> Thank you. That, that's, that's so crazy. I, 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 I never, I genuinely, there's so many hidden things about that song, like listening to it now and the way it started, I'm like, oh my God, because I was 16, I was 15 when I wrote it, 16 right. when I recorded it, but it's very like, it's just, I, I very rarely listened to it. I, I think it's just because it's like from Alex. such a different mind, mindset that I was in. And then when I listened to it, I'm like, oh my God. Oh. It, it's fantastic. Fantastic. It's, it's, it's really Thank you. Like, mature beyond your years. Thank you. Oh, I was, I don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what I was going through at the time, but clearly 15 year old me had some, something to talk about. But um, no, I like, I like it because it still resonates. It, like it'll always resonate at times. And I remember releasing it and like so many people had texted me being like, your song came out and it's like resonated with me. And I was like, me? Really? You're talking about me? And I was like, oh, like it makes, it makes me feel so much better that like other people are like, oh, I don't feel like this. You know, I, there's other people that feel like it too. And I'm like, yeah, everybody. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, you, you no. really tapped in the, um, the, like a very common sort of feeling in a way of thinking that that people would maybe be maybe afraid to speak about out loud and, mm. and say their friends so uh, I mean the songs it's incredible I, was, I, I can't say enough good things about it and and your voice is so <laughs> powerful throughout in all the parts you. When, when you sort of hit your big notes and even the, the little soft delicate parts when you're singing it's just it's, it's on point just constantly throughout so it is yeah you don't you don't like you don't expect to hear those vocals from without sounding really disrespectful like but from an 18 year old you know what I mean you would expect no, somebody more no. mature in years I, to, to, I have, to have a big, big powerful voice no if I had a point for sorry, every time sorry, I heard... I'm, being, I'm being cliche no it's fine honestly I no, I used to get that a lot but I it's, think it's, that's it's a, comp it's a compliment it's no, a compliment it's, it's, it's absolutely a compliment but like when I was younger I can sing for shite I was awful when I was younger seriously and then I like <sighs> gradually just started to practice more and more and then it kind of got easier <laughs> got easier no it's very good no very good indeed thank you um so um see um the arrangement sorry going back uh anybody but me um do you play the piano and stuff as well that wasn't me this is this is actually great I wrote the foundations like lyrics of that song too some lyrics were changed around by Matthew McCracken he is a lecturer at the college as well and one of the most like incredible songwriters I've ever had the pleasure of working with he's so talented and he him and I, I'm awful like <laughs> it's him and another guy did the uh, instrumentation on it I all I did I just went in and sang that's all I all I had to do was stand there and go la, 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 la. like he he did all the hard part like honestly is, is this a guy is this a guy at in Derry or in Stravan Derry Derry he's in Derry okay is it like as you uh, say cool, Kendall, the cool. instrumentation the, like, the arrangements strings everything like it's and, and, and Beautiful. your voice really lends itself really well to oh yeah the sound of Definitely. The, 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 the musicality of it thank you what's the best gig you've been to that's a really hard one um um honestly best and worst. um never been to a bad gig in all fairness um best gig was actually a local gig it was um this is gonna sound so big-headed i was playing on it but um i it was in the nerve center <laughs> best gig was your own. nerve center in Derry, which is top top anyway great great place um, it was me and my friend played and we do. It was just a whole bunch of different artists, like people that I'd never heard of before. It was a girl from tech that was putting on this concert and um, there was a couple different bands playing, <laughs> Val and France and Fake Friends, that which is the mm -hmm. yes. recommended track, nice. which is, um, and I that any of the Bennigan's Mappa gigs as well, like I could, I've seen, I've seen Shawn Mendes live, I've seen Little Mix live, I've seen Five Seconds of Summer live, I've seen, you know, like... I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I was too young, I didn't know any better. Sorry. I didn't know any better. There's a shot to be taken, I, I have to take it. I, I have no shame, I like who I like and that's fine. That's okay. But um, genuinely, um, any Mappa Benigan's gig that I've ever been to is just... And it, it's better than any gig like that because it's a community. You know, I know the people that are playing and I yeah. I know 
you know, stuff like that there. So any, yeah, any Bennigan's you, you have a been, personal connection to that gig. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's amazing. So yeah. that one will be cool. definitely it. Um, so we've uh, asked you to bring along a, a recommendation of a band from Northern Ireland um, and one of your favourite songs for that band. Um, can you just tell us what you've brought with you and just a wee bit about them? Yeah, I've chosen Honeysuckle by Fake Friends. They are all students at Northwest Regional College. They're a four-piece band, Aidy O'Kane, Maddie Lynch, Oliver Murr, and <laughs> Nisha Brady, I forgot his name. And they have another song out called hey babe you should check them out on spotify they're very good very nice people and honeysuckle is a brilliant brilliant song brilliantly sang and brilliantly written so that's why i chose it stop by a group of ignorance ask them would they like to dance? I see a stranger walking past Arms trapped, nothing in her glance So I say Beautiful. It has a really, um, so a really beautiful delicacy about it. It's, yeah, it's, it's kinda, such an e- such an easy listening tune. Yeah, yeah. It's, Great singer um, on it, Nisha, Nisha yeah. Brady's best singer ever. <laughs> Literally, she's crazy good. Yeah. I had a listen to it um, earlier on as well, and and I was just going, what? Like you wouldn't think that was four students, as you said, from yeah. you know from the tech. Yeah. Like it's exactly it's fantastic. mental, so so good. It actually made me think a little bit. To me, that's like the type of song like Bert Bacharach would have written. That that's the kind of. Uh, Juno, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. Um, because we're obviously me. very we're, honoured. We're new and all that, so um, we're appreciative of all the support we get. So it's good to have somebody coming on board so so early in that as well. So thank you very much. Um, 
good luck with everything. Good luck with the tunes. Keep them going. Some excellent stuff there. So, yeah, appreciate and you let, sharing that with us. Let us know if you get any Maybe. Brighton. <clears throat> well, absolutely, well done. Excellent. Good stuff. We'll look out for you in the chat. <laughs> and we'll be expecting backstage absolutely. passes and, and things like that, obviously. You know. Obviously, yeah, yeah, VIP, free beers, free food. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, it goes without saying. <laughs> But uh, no, so, but, uh, yeah. well, again, thank you very much, Juno. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank on. you for having pleasure me. Pleasure listening to your music and playing your music as well. Very much appreciate it. Absolutely. You. Take all it best. easy. All the best. See you all the best. Bye bye. Bye. So that was Juno Hassan's recommended track there, uh, Fake Friends with Honeysuckle, cracking tune that is too. Uh, great girl, uh, Juno. Um, hope she uh, achieves yeah. all her dreams now. Um, we hope to hear more from her in the future. Absolutely. Um, great another great guest absolutely her music's fantastic her voice is fantastic so definitely looking forward to hearing more from her um yes. next up uh we're gonna have a bit of a switch round we this band described themselves as just a bunch of women screaming in a room this is problem patterns and big shouty <laughs> Great song there by Problem Patterns. Big shout out, real. That's uh, that's a good old punk song again. So it's great to hear. What's coming up next time, Corky? So on next week's episode, we have music from Fruity from Daryl Ball, and we'll be joined by our special guest Gavin Kelly. Uh, yeah, looking forward to having a conversation with Gavin. That'll be interesting. As well, definitely looking forward to that as well. Um, so you can find all the links for all the artists we featured tonight um, in the description below. You'll get all their social media links, Spotify, Facebook, everything there. We're going to play you out now with our final track, and this is Delusional Silence, and the track is Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs>
Hi guys, thanks for watching and listening to this week's episode of the Discover Music NI podcast. We really hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow us on all your favourite social media platforms. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell and you'll be keep up to date with our latest episodes. Thanks very much guys, take care.